If you're asked to find the number of atoms in H2SO4, that's sulfuric acid, here's how you do it. The first thing to realize is that this number here, it's called the subscript, that tells us how many atoms there are of that element symbol in front of it. So in this case, we have two hydrogen atoms. If there's no subscript, we just assume that to be one. So to find the number of atoms for H2SO4, we're sort of just adding up the subscripts. For example, we have two hydrogen atoms plus one sulfur plus the four oxygen atoms. That'll give us two plus one is three plus four, seven total atoms in H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Sometimes you'll see this, you'll see two H2SO4. So this number in front, it's called a coefficient. You'll normally see it when you're balancing equations. Just think of it this way. There's parentheses around the H2SO4 and the two, it applies to each one of these things here in the parentheses. So now if we wanted to count the atoms up, we'd say two times two, that's four, plus two times the one sulfur, that's two, plus two times four is eight. So four plus two is six plus eight, that's 14, which is just double the seven here. And that makes sense because we put the two in front of the H2SO4. So the little numbers, these are called subscripts. They tell you how many of each one of these elements there are. The big numbers, when you balance equations, those are coefficients, and then they apply to the whole molecule. This is Dr. B with the number of atoms in H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.